In August is just a couple of days away Monday, so back to school thoughts thoughts are starting to creep in and that means getting kids ready. That's right. So joining us for some insight and advice is Dr. Khadija Booth Watkins, a child psychiatrist and the associate director of the Clay Center for Young Healthy Minds at MGH. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, Dr. Booth Watkins. Now, I will tell you, I think the last week of July, which we're currently still in, is a bit early. But when is a good time to kind of start easing kids into thinking about getting, you know, back to school, routines, that kind of stuff? It is the last week of July. But, you know, when we start to think about going into the summer, we don't want to take away. We don't want to kind of uh, forget about they will have to go back to school when the summer's over. We don't want to deviate too far or off course in terms of our summer schedule and our summer plans because it's gonna be so much more challenging to get back on track. And so it's hard to say when is a good time. You know, they will need time to adjust. You know your child best and how much they tolerate change, how flexible they are, how, how resistant to um, new things they are. And so give them enough time to adjust. I would say mid-August is reasonable, but you know, again, your child might need more time and some might need less. Okay, and we know so much is different over the summertime. Bedtimes, free Bed time, times. all of that kind Screen of time. right can be different. So how do you ease kids back into a more scheduled life? Well, summertime is fun time. Um, I think the way you started is really just validating their feelings that they might be having around kind of resuming kind of a more normal schedule. Uh, they might be a little bit nervous, apprehensive, or even sad that summer's about to end. I think the first thing you would want to do is start talking about the morning routine. What do you want it to look like? How what 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 is a time frame? How much time do you need to kind of go through your routine and then practice it? And similarly, bedtime has been off. Kids are going to bed later. They're they're staying up later. So we kind of need to start to reset the bedtime. And with that, again, talking about the bedtime routine. What time should we start it? What should be part of this routine? How much time do you need? And then maybe slowly but surely, you know, about 10 minutes every night, just kind of inching up back to a normal bedtime. Again, knowing your child, how much time they'll need to adjust is gonna be important, but, and you just kind of can tweak it, engage based on their needs and their response. All right, well, as you well know, the pandemic has raised a lot of concerns about kids falling behind. So are there strategies that parents can use before school starts? You mentioned some there to help jumpstart the learning process come, you know, September. So I think about this in the same way that I think about having conversations with our kids. They don't always have to be so serious and planned and scheduled. Similarly, we can be creative about learning and keeping their brains active. One thing that I like to do is, is read and re reading can be fun even for kids who don't enjoy it. It could be fun if you kind of read together, sometimes thinking about reading books that maybe have movies that you can watch afterwards. You know, picking the right book, one that's not too hard, but one that's also not too easy is, is a fun way. But then there are so many other things like, you know, taking nature walks and talking about nature, going to museums and zoos. Um, even cooking in the kitchen can be an exercise where we're kind of learning with the measuring and the, the talking about the kitchen safety. And there's so many ways that we can kind of incorporate learning without it being formal. All right, Dr. Khadija Booth Watkins, always so good to see you. We always appreciate what you have to say. Thank you.